The last time I saw something like you, I flushed it. <laughs> wow, that was hard. That was, that was low. <laughs> like the toilet, get it? Uh, they're calling you poop. Yeah, I gotta use this next time someone comes up at me, tries to roast me. Like, boy, you look like a piece of poop. I should have flushed you last night. <laughs> Wait, should have? I mean, I did flush you last night. I flush, guys. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> but, hi guys. What's up? Yes, today we are looking at some of the most savage insults ever. Because when I'm in a fight, I can't think of a good comeback, so I need to study. I need to look at these so I have something to say when someone comes at me, you know? But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. And give this video a like and a share. But yeah, comment below your favorite comeback and let's go. The trash gets picked up tomorrow. Be ready, <laughs> cause you're trash. These people are so mean. <laughs> I found this on Pinterest. I thought those people were supposed to be nice. I can just imagine my worst enemy. This girl that picked on me in third grade, just putting her on the side of the street and the dumpster just grabs her and puts her in. <laughs> like, see ya. Some people are such treasures that you just wanna bury them <laughs> and never have to look at their ugly face ever again. But I'm already buried in self-doubt. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. See, I am not good at this. I can't think of any good comebacks. <laughs> I'd mess up your face, but your mama did it for me. <laughs> uh, they call you ugly <laughs> from birth. Hey, my mama made me beautiful. I don't know who you talking to. I'd mess up your face. <laughs> I need to try to actually come up with a comeback for this if someone said it to me. Let's see. No, I can't think of anything. I really can't, I suck. See you guys, it takes me this long to come up with a joke. I sit here for like five minutes. You are so fat, you fall off both sides of the bed. <laughs> Dang. I love the your mama so fat jokes. They're, they're my favorite. <laughs> I never say them to people, cause that's mean. Don't do that. I saw another one kind of like this. It was, your mom is so fat, objects gravitate towards her. <laughs> like she's the earth, you get it? She's really big. If you're going to be two-faced, at least make one of them pretty. <laughs> I'll probably just steal these, honestly, cause I know a lot of two-faced people, like a lot. So it's like, at least make one of them look decent so I can look at it without throwing up. <laughs> you're like the top piece of bread. Everyone touches you, but nobody wants you. <laughs> oh my God, that's so mean. <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. Uh, I really hope my friends don't see this video cause then they'll know where I got these jokes. <laughs> If you ran like your mouth, you'd be in good shape. <laughs> that, that is so me. If I ran like I run my mouth, I would be so skinny. Seriously, during quarantine, I told myself I would use this time to try to eat healthy and work out. And when I actually get to socialize again, I would look super awesome. And people would be like, whoa, Sarah, is that you? But really, I just sit around watching Netflix, eating Chick-fil-A every single day, so. I've gained a lot of weight. <laughs> People still don't recognize me, but it's like not in the way I want them to, you know? I'm just like <laughs> pudgy over here. Hey, train wreck, this isn't your station. <laughs> That's so mean. You know what? I'm just really emotional and I have a lot of mental breakdowns in the day, but don't call me a train wreck. That's like calling a girl crazy or telling her to calm down. It's not gonna end well. It doesn't solve anything. Yeah, my boyfriend always tries to tell me to calm down and I'm like, uh, what are you trying to accomplish here? All you're doing is making me more angry. <laughs> when my daughter was little, about four, we spent the night at my parents and I was brushing her long hair after her bath. My dad told her she had such pretty hair and asked if he could have a little to cover his bald spot. <laughs> she didn't even look up and said, I think you have enough on your back to cover that. <laughs> oh my God. He has a hairy gorilla back. <laughs> That's nasty. I hate when guys are like super hairy, you know? I don't like facial hair. I don't like chest hair or back hair. You look like a gorilla, okay? Shave it. If you want girls to shave their legs and their armpits all the time, have perfectly smooth skin, then so do you. We'll have a shaving party, everybody. When I was reading this, I thought she was gonna say, I don't think I have enough hair to cover all that. <laughs> Cause he's so bald, you get it? Please tell me that joke makes sense. I worked really hard on it. <laughs> it's impossible to underestimate you. <laughs> what? You can underestimate me with how much Netflix I watch in a day <laughs> and how many times a week I order fast food. Seriously, you will underestimate me. Like I'll get up, get some breakfast, go straight to Netflix, watch some Vampire Diaries, you know, just admire Damon and Stefan all day and then play Animal Crossing and then I might do some work. I'm trying to see things from your point of view but I can't seem to get my head that far up my butt. <laughs> Cause you're wrong. Oh, I so wish I could say this to some people 
But then I would get smacked and disowned. People just would not like me. <laughs> Maybe that's why people are friends with me. Cause they know they can insult me whenever they want and I can't think of anything to say back. Keep rolling your eyes. Maybe you'll find a brain back there. <laughs> you know what? I will find a brain. It may be small, but I'll find it. Okay, this was a thing in my town in middle school. I don't know if other people did this or we were just crazy, but there was this thing where if you cross your eyes and then you hit yourself in the back of the head really hard, they get stuck. We used to do that all the time. No wonder we have brain damage and no one likes us. But I did it one time and my eyes were stuck for like a full five seconds and I freaked out so hard. I thought I was gonna be like that for the rest of my life and I would never have a boyfriend ever. But they eventually moved back and I was like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> so don't do that. I'm just trying to tell you how weird I was as a kid and why I'm so, you know, mental. So don't do that. I will get sued by someone's mother. <laughs> I've got heels higher than your standards. Oh! <laughs> wow. I think she's saying that you're dating trash. <laughs> you need to raise your standards a little bit. Honestly, I was so boy crazy as a kid that I didn't have any standards. As long as he was nice and somewhat a little bit attractive, I went out with him or I wanted to. You know what? They just had to be male. <laughs> I just, I really wanted a boyfriend. And then I slowly, I think towards high school, started to raise my standards. Nope, you know what? They were all still ugly. <laughs> After high school, when I got out to LA, I raised my standards by a lot. If I wanted to kill myself, I would climb your ego and jump to your IQ. Oh my God. I keep saying, oh my God, and wow. Like, is that really all I can say? I am the worst YouTuber. Some of y'all might not get this. I feel like it's a little complicated. So they're saying they have a really big ego. Like they're really into themselves when they shouldn't be. So that's super high. And then their IQ is like a zero cause they're just stupid. So just jump dead. <laughs> I feel like explaining it makes it not funny anymore. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. Cause you're wrong. <laughs> That is the best advice I can give anyone. If you have a girlfriend or a wife or whatever, even when she's wrong, she's right. She is always right. Happy wife, happy life. That's a saying for a reason. <laughs> Just admit you're wrong even when you're not and it'll save a lot of arguments. You'll have a nice happy life. <laughs> My brother once drunkenly called someone a non-essential vitamin. <laughs> That's so stupid, but so funny. <laughs> like people deal with you but they don't have to. <laughs> like you're so unnecessary. <laughs> I said that to Matt once while we were watching Conan and there's like this guy on the side who just stands there and he says like, oh yeah, Conan, yeah, great. <laughs> All he does is add like a one word comment and I'm like, he's so unnecessary. <laughs> I'm not saying I hate you, okay? <laughs> but I'd unplug your life support to charge my phone. <laughs> Why are you people so dark? <laughs> I've said that to a friend once. I was like, dude, you would unplug my life support to charge my phone, wouldn't you? <laughs> and they were like, yeah. You must have been born on a highway cause that's where most accidents happen. <laughs> hey, I'm not an accident. My parents wanted me. I have proof, kinda. They told me, but maybe they were lying. Mom, <laughs> you look easy to draw. <laughs> what? Did, is that like, calling me ugly? I'm not hard to draw, <laughs> I'm just like a cartoon. Okay, that's savage. I think that one's my favorite. You look easy to draw. <laughs> the toddler I'm babysitting came over, lifted up my shirt to expose my belly, then started squeezing my tummy pudge. <laughs> you know, the little fluffy pouch <laughs> while saying squishy, squishy. <laughs> I had salad for lunch the rest of the week. <laughs> that's so mean. Like, hey, I know I'm a little pudgy, I'm not fat, okay? I exercise like once a year. Isn't that enough? Yeah, kids are so brutally honest. You can ask them anything. So if you want to be destroyed, <laughs> just go ask a toddler how you look today. A young woman was being very rude to the restaurant staff. So an old lady that overheard her said, oh honey, you're not pretty enough to be acting like that. <laughs> wow. She's like, girl, you're not even hot. Don't, don't act like you can treat people however you want. You don't have that kind of influence. <laughs> like you're like a three at best. <laughs> so just chill, just humble yourself. <laughs> I may not be perfect, but at least I'm not you. <laughs> yeah, at least I'm not a screw up. Yeah, I heard this one motivational speaker say, hey, even if you screw up all the time, just remember you are born a winner <laughs> because you were the fastest swimmer to the egg. <laughs> you beat out all the other kids that were trying to be born. So. 
you are born a winner. Don't forget that. I love you. I love the sound you make when you shut up because it's silence and all you say is garbage. And that is it for the most savage insults ever. I am going to use these, study them so I remember them and I can just say them all the time. I'll be unstoppable. You won't ever be able to roast me. Eh, you probably will, because I have the worst memory. <laughs> Anyways, hope you liked it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. And give this video a like and a share. But yeah, be sure to comment below which comeback was the best, and I will see you awesome people next time.